Hi everyone, my name is Meir Borak. Today we're going to learn on how to add to a trade. And sometimes it makes all the difference because when you add, you normally add to a trade that you like and you do not add size to a trade that you do not like. We're going to go through this real quick. Now, first, take a look at the S&P 500. The S&P started with a gap down today. It's moving up. It's likely to come down under the lows. That's how you start your trading session. You look for the direction of the S&P 500. Yesterday, the market came down very strong. It's likely to continue today. So I'm looking for stocks that will behave the same, like Tesla, which is down 1.5%. It tried to move higher. It failed. Now it's reversing. I'm going to short here 2,000 shares, expecting it to come down with the S&P 500. Again, it's all based on the S&P 500 because that's where the institutional money comes from. Tesla is touching the lows. I'm up $3,000 taking my partial here, leaving just 200 shares. And the S&P, as you can see, as expected, continues yesterday's downtrend and moves down under the lows. Now, Tesla is not the only one. Boeing moved up at the beginning of the trading session. It's a little bit different trade here. It's a nice technical formation, nice cup and handle formation. I'm going to short here. Uh, 2,000 shares. Now, the thing with Boeing is I like the technical formation. I don't like the fact that it's only down 0.2%, but I really like the way it looks mainly because I was watching the airlines and the airlines are crashing. And that's why Boeing is very, very likely to follow. So Boeing is doing well. It's moving down. It just moved down under the lows. It's a bit spready. So I'm kind of waiting for a bigger move. I'm up $400, $500. It's nowhere close to my target, but look what happens now. A spike up. I would call this a retest. This is what we call a retest. It moves up to retest the breakdown point. Now look at the S&P. It's still down. You always look back at the S&P to make sure that Boeing is not moving up because the S&P is moving up. No, the S&P is trending lower. Boeing, one minute candles, is just spiked up. It retested the breakdown point. When something like this happened, you add. I just added another 2,000 shares. Normally when the stock is breaking down under the support, it will move back up to retest what was a support and now becomes a resistance. It's normal and you can add at this kind of points. Now it's the same for a stock that is moving up and then coming down and retest and then continues to move higher. Now it just reached my target. I'm taking my profit and leaving 400 shares. I'll talk about retest some other times but Please remember when the stock is trending lower, breaking down, then touches the point where it originally broke down, this is what we call a retest. Now with JD, it's quite simpler. Um, it's much more simple. It's down 4%. It's a nice reversal. It will continue the trend. And again, the market's coming down. I'm shorting 2,000 shares. Now, I will also add soon to JD. As you can see, it's going sideways. It didn't yet prove to me that it wants to continue coming down. But at some point when the market continued to move down and right here, it looks like it has a beautiful breakdown formation, I will add. So I'm adding 2,000 shares. Now I'm short 4,000 shares because of this beautiful breakdown point. So unlike, unlike Boeing, that's not a retest. It did not pop up and give me an opportunity to add to a winning trade. Just came down. I'm up $1,600 right now. A small pullback, taking my profits and leaving 400 shares. So I added to JD because of the breakdown nice technical formation. It did not happen with Boeing. Again, Boeing was adding on a retest. JD is adding on a breakdown. But both of them did very well. And again, I'm getting an advantage while I'm adding to a trade that I think looks better than the normal trade. Now, Netflix. Netflix is coming down. Uh, it's a nice, again, reversal. Uh, right now, not the greatest technical pattern. I'm shorting 2,000 shares, expecting a breakdown. You always want to short before a stock is breaking under the lows. You need to anticipate the lows. Well, it broke down a little bit and then it kind of goes sideways. Now, it's building a cup and handle formation, which is much better than the breakdown formation. So I'm adding, I'm adding another 1,000 shares to my Netflix short. Now, Netflix is a big mover, so I add a little bit less than I added to the other stocks. You watched me add to them earlier like Boeing and JD. Look at this beautiful breakdown. I'm up five grand. It's a bigger mover. It's 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 it, the risk is much higher. I'm taking my partial right here, 400 uh, shares left. Now I had several other trades like uh, uh, Lyft and uh, a loser in CRM. I showed you some of them, mainly the ones that I added size to. So please remember when you add size 
to a long or to a short you look for an advantage you always add when you think you have an advantage the technical formation is being built you start with smaller size take less risk and then when the stock comes to the point where you think you have an advantage you add and then of course if you have a stock that does not look like it has any kind of advantage you just don't add so just imagine your winners would be double size your losers not all of them will be losers of course will have your normal size or a small size that's one of the ways to stay in green while trading thank you very much for watching this video if you liked it please give me a like don't forget to subscribe to my channel right over here there's plenty of links right here below one of them is for my trading room i trade live each and every day and all of these trades were called live in my trading room i look forward to see you there uh, you don't it does not require a credit card to join so just click on the link below and i'll see you in my live trading room thank you for watching bye bye